Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. We are in the middle of an epic quest. We have just gotten our 10th Power Stone, meaning that we have gotten through probably the most difficult part of the Hyperstone quest, and the only thing, I believe, the only thing left for us to get is the jungle, the rubies from the jungle. So, the plan for that is, we've got this golem, and we are going to go along the edge of the jungle, and we are going to look for a couple of different things. We're going to look for orbs that we think will be useful for getting into the jungle, and then we're going to be looking for rubies that look like they will be easy to grab, like that. And we want to be careful not to leave our golem too far behind. We won't be able to keep the golem for a really long time, because we are going to be looking out for orbs that will be more effective for dealing with the jungle. For instance, this orb of speed is uh, very promising, and we can use this to take on Ivy's a little bit more easily, and actually a lot more easily. And we have to, we don't have to worry as much about eagles, uh, both because we have the golem protecting us and because we have the orb of speed. But we have to watch out for when that's going to run out, and it's running out pretty soon. So we want to deal with the pikemen and try to get out of here. Now this is a single, so I am not too worried about being able to get around it. It looks like our golem is probably going to get trapped in here. I don't think Orb of Earth does anything for us in the jungle, unfortunately. I don't actually know. Doesn't look like it does. So I don't want to take too many risks. I really want to try to preserve this game as much as I can. So what do we have? Another orb of life and an orb of teleport, which I don't really want to mess around with. More life. Also, I figured out uh, just now that the orbs of winter that we've been seeing in the crossroads, I thought those were from uh, the... Cro um, the Icy Land, but I realized that the Icy Land puts Orbs of Flash. Xeno was saying that uh, basically every land has one native orb, that it, when you finish that land, um, that orb gets placed in the crossroads. And for the Icy Land, that is the Orb of Flash. And the Icy Land also has a secondary orb, the Orb of Winter, that only shows up in the Icy Land. It doesn't show up elsewhere. And so the Orb of Winter must be the native orb for the Kakaitis. Now, I've gotten myself into a not-so-great position, because I can't get back into that crossroads now. So, we are going to walk around in the jungle, and that is pretty dangerous. So, I want to be careful, and I probably want to find my way out of here as quickly as possible. I don't really see the Emerald Mine or the Mirrored Land being a whole lot better, though this Orb of the Mind uh, could be exactly what we're looking for. So I am going to try to use it effectively to uh, make the jungle a little bit safer for us and possibly open up some rubies for us. And that actually worked uh, very well, but we've used it all up, so we now have to be careful once again that we do not get trapped behind anything. And I say crossroads we can escape into. Uh, so we are actually right ready to go and we just need to get out of here and run 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 and now we are spawning hyperstones and we're spawning a lot of hyperstones new achievement hyperbolic sage collect a hyperstone all right so things get pretty dangerous now monsters are spawning in the crossroads 
So I am going to be looking out for uh, orbs like this orb of flash that I think will help me out. Seven, eight, nine, use the flash. Ten, new achievement, master of the hyperboloid. Collect ten hyperstones. We've done it. We have gotten the final victory, the hyperstone victory. So, now what are we going to do? I think the thing for us to do now is there's two things that we can try. One is we can try to go for a 100% victory, and the other is we can try to go for a hyperstone high score. And both of those are pretty appealing. I think the 100% a little bit more so, because it's a little bit more complicated. But, oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff coming after us now. And the Hyperstone high score is certainly something that will be fun to go for. Very kind of smoothly rewarding. So, we're probably going to need more dead orbs than we have to get the... Um, the Grail. Uh, the number of dead orbs that we have right now is probably enough to get an orb of Yendor out of uh, one of the safer areas. And so, probably if we see an orb of Yendor, we will want to try to go for it. And if we see a Camelot, we will want to farm up a few more dead orbs. Now, we have 20 Hyperstones now. I think for a lot of these, there's an achievement for getting 25, so let's see if we can do that. And we have a lot of stuff coming after us, but this Orb of Flash will actually uh, protect us somewhat. Because if we ever end up in a situation that we can't escape from, it will go off pretty automatically. And let's see, that's 23, 24. New achievement, Grandmaster of the Hyperboloid. Collect 25 Hyperstones. Wow. So we are really having an incredibly successful adventure. So now we want to look out for a Camelot, and we want to... Uh, farm up the dead orbs that we will need to find the grail. So that is going to be the next thing that we want to do. And we're going to be engaging in a lot of combat. I'm kind of in awe of how much combat we're en engaging in. So I'm just going to be moving very slowly and carefully through the world, not really trying to go for everything I see, Let's see, I think we want to probably move around the edge of this Camelot. And uh, it looks like we're getting surrounded a little bit. So I am now a little bit worried because we have stuff kind of coming from all sides. And we don't have a lot of ways of corralling that. In fact, this, um, this Fire Fairy and this Demon are going to come up to us at once, and so we have to kill them. Let's see, no, we have to actually, because of this um, Flail Guard, we have to move like that and kind of around there just to get them to line up. But the Fire Fairies are actually doing us a bit of good by starting fires that kind of create these barriers. And then we have to move away from the Flail Guard, fight the demon. And that actually got us out of that, uh, that pretty tricky situation. Now what's this? This Orb of Flash seems very valuable. But it looks like we're actually going to use it almost immediately. So it may not actually have been as valuable as I thought it was. And now we have so many cultists coming after us that I think it may actually not be worthwhile to try and fight our way back to that Camelot, that maybe we should try and find a different Camelot. So I'm kind of 
really thrilled at how difficult things have gotten at this point, and just how much we're getting swarmed. But I feel like I now have to play so carefully and so slowly that I'm not sure how much longer my commentary is going to hold out. But this is, you know, this is really what I was looking for in in all of my gameplay of this, is this kind of emotional peak of just everything coming together at the end like that. Orb of Earth does not seem very useful, and we're spawning a lot of them, and cultists are throwing fire at us. Actually, this fire fairy will very nearly, I think, only ghosts can get to us through that barrier now. That's 29, that's 30, we now have 30 hyperstones. And we're not really seeing anything that's slowing us down. Well, this eagle could be trouble, but we managed to deal with it. That orb of teleport might have been nice to have. I'm kind of sorry that I didn't grab it. Now, where can we go from here? I kind of want to deal with this ghost. That tentacle's going to be trouble if I don't move away from it. So I want to put a little distance between me and the tentacle, if I can. This eagle could be real serious trouble. And so... I am actually very worried now. Because this eagle is going to try and flank us against these two guys that are following us. And I don't see any orbs that we can reach for. I really wish I had grabbed that orb of teleport now. And that's game. Wow. You have improved your Hyperstone high score on Steam. Alright. 223... 223 gems collected, 681 kills, and Hyperstone quest completed. So... 100% victory is something that we can actually reasonably aim for now, so that is what we will be doing in the future. I am going to glance at the time, because I want to see how long this was, and I think it's long enough. It's, I, it's not as long as I would have liked it to be, but we ended up going longer than I thought we might, and we ended up getting a lot done, so I am really happy. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.